Right, this is my mould for making crucibles. That's a centrepiece there. And I've made the, it out of two mold. nesting jugs, a bigger one and uh, an, an inner one. Uh, this, they nest quite nicely to give a, a bit of a, a gap between them for the thickness of the, uh, the crucible. Um, that was the one that I, I used for that one and uh, this was the one I used for this one but I actually cut the um, on the mould I cut the spout off so that I can actually turn this when I'm demoulding the, uh, the crucible just put two pegs in there to locate it the mould is uh, rubbed liberally with Vaseline so that it uh, Mold. It will be mold. So that's the centre of the mold. <coughs> this goes over like that. It's located with some uh, some screw holes. I just uh, screw it down. There it is ready. That's the inner section, that's the outer section, and just basically ram the uh, the grog and clay mixture into that. And then uh, I put that on top and push that out so it uh, demolds. This is the grog. All it is is a crushed fire brick. And uh, this is fire clay. So I'll make three crucibles of that sort of size, about a litre. So I'm going to use uh, 2 2.25 litres of fire clay and 1.7 litres of grog. And I'm going to add 550 millilitres of water. There's my fire clay and grog. Mix that up together. So we've got a nice uh, even consistency and then have 550 millilitres of water. And I'm going to leave that overnight just to uh, sort itself out. Now I've mixed it with 550 millilitres of water. I'll just give it a, a mix and a stir. That's the sort of consistency. It's quite damp clumps together. I'm just going to leave that overnight and let it, uh, let it mature a little bit. I'll give it another mix tomorrow morning. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, 83, rest and be thankful. Still closing the lamp, so it has to be left in your head. So you still got this diversion. It's a 60 mile length. Uh, to know the course, it's like a stroke. And then it's a 50 foot stroke, which uh, we can